Hey guys, for this video, I'm taking on a really strong opponent who's actually even won an ATP Tour title as recent as in 2018. So as I had a great win last match, we managed to uh, win the group stage actually and make it to the playoffs. So this match takes place in the semifinals of the Swedish Tennis League, where we take on Salk. So as I mentioned, my opponent for today from Salk is a guy named Mirza Basic. He's an extremely experienced player. He's been as high as 74 in the world back in 2018 when he took his ATP title in Sofia Open in Bulgaria, where he actually beat the likes of uh, Stan Wawrinka in the semifinals and then uh, Marius uh, Kopil in the final. So he's surely a, a very, very strong and experienced player. And at the time that we're playing right now, he's uh, currently ranked somewhere in the 300s. Not sure if he's been injured or so, but either way, I mean, he's a very, very good player and we're surely in for a tough one here. So to kick off this match, I mean, obviously you can see that the Mirza is a very tall and, and powerful player. He looks to try to dictate you around from the court, but I kind of noticed a little bit that that the side where you could pressure sometimes is going to be a little bit on the forehand side because I feel like he seemed very confident on the back end. But you can see there with the forehand, sometimes he, he looks a little less, less confident the way he would hit through the ball. So I feel like that was a, a side that I kind of wanted to try to punish a little bit. Yeah, actually when... Yeah, so when I ran for this ball, I don't know if how much you guys know, but I've had some issues with my toe and, and I kind of just slid into it right here. And something just kind of popped in my in my, uh, in my low toe on my, my right side and it was not great. Um, or like, I don't know, the wound that I've had it just kind of popped open and uh, it got really painful. Uh, I did manage to win the point, but I, I gotta admit, I was actually kind of like seeing stars after that point. And uh, obviously that's not the way you wanna, wanna kick off the match, but uh, a great back end there by him, the thing that I mentioned. So I was kind of uh, in some pain there on my, on my right foot. You can kind of see there, like normally, I feel like I probably would have slid for that one, at least went for it, but. Yeah, so my issue here uh, is kind of that, yeah, my, my kind of struggling a little bit to move out on my right foot. So it's got a little weird, and especially like that's not something you want to think about too much. Like you're, you're trying to focus uh, as much as you can on, on what you're trying to do and, and execute throughout the match, but obviously it does kind of mess you up a little bit. Um, that you, yeah, you might not be thinking about the right stuff, but one thing that I really felt though about this match is that I had a really hard time kind of getting the ball away from Mirza because I feel like he was so good at cutting it off, like especially returning as well. Like, like I feel like he was so good at just kind of getting the ball. Like you see here how he's constantly just cutting off the ball over and over again. So yeah, as I said, you just kind of feel like it, it's really hard to get the ball away from him. Yeah, great approach there, great great game, good hold. Uh, obviously my game plan here is, is like most other matches, trying to be aggressive when the, the opportunity presents itself. The issue now is maybe that I'm, I'm lacking a little bit on the defensive side because I feel like I couldn't maybe scrape as much as I, I usually might be able to. See, I mean, I feel like he's so good at there at returning. Even though I feel like I hit a pretty good serve out wide, he manages to, to kind of catch on to it uh, and put a very deep and heavy return on me uh, straight away. So we're under some pressure here at 30 all. Great form by him there again. And yeah, I'm under some pressure here straight away. I uh, got a break point against me, but good serve there to, to uh, save that one. Gets a little over aggressive with that forehand, but then he gets a really good one the next one. So I mean, he's a very aggressive player and. He's gonna try to, to hit your heavy ones and maybe he's mistiming it a little bit to start it off. But overall he... Yeah, so you can kind of see that game though, like as I mentioned, like the foreign can get a little flaky sometimes and obviously he came up with a few errors there that really gave us the opportunity to kind of get back into it. Uh, I probably could have put some more pressure on us there, but... What is so important to note though is the fact that he's like doing the same thing over and over again. It doesn't matter if he misses three or four, 
in a row, he's gonna keep doing it. He's gonna keep swinging away, and that's really and that's really a key point here too. Though. Like as you're improving a level, that you trust your game so much, it doesn't matter what you do. You're you're still gonna stick with your game, your game plan, no matter what. So we look through the one like good down the line back, and this is where it was kind of not great uh, when I get stuck there. I couldn't put too much weight on that right foot, and uh, yeah, he just kind of. <laughs> doing something here in the little ballerina to finish it off but just trying what we can uh to try to try to scrape through the points uh good returning here by me but once again like such a good counter punch and and yeah, getting kind of stuck up there in the, that foreign corner is struggling to to i don't know push off uh because i am in some pain there on the right foot so kind of struggling there a little bit because i have to run through it all the time but he does such a good job, you know, of, of hitting those deep balls that it is, no matter what, like, it's always tough. But this is going to be the last point that I, that I mentioned, or, or I'm uh, whining a bit about my toe, but it just kind of, like, messed up with me a little bit. I I got this ball here, I remember it, so I get a little shorter ball here on my, on my back and side, and I remember I was going to run for it, and normally I would go in with my right foot, but it's just, like, it goes it happens so quickly and um, because I was in such pain I just decided to come in with my left foot instead and it just kind of made the whole timing and everything kind of kind of messed up and yeah just just chumped that one up up the line so it is kind of messing with me a little bit when it comes to decision making and things but obviously like there's not many matches where everything's perfect so you just got to try to do the best you can uh, with what you have so he's, I feel like Mirza is starting to kind of get into the groove here, starting to cut off balls. Obviously, you can see there's sometimes on the foreign side that that's where he can start making some errors, uh, as can I. Unfortunately, we just, I don't know, just kind of lose the body there. Everything is just going completely the wrong way. You see my whole body is just, I'm just kind of rotating with the whole, the whole body. is not enough power going forward. and. Yeah, just lose control of the ball and, and quickly get broken to 2-4. So under some pressure here, uh, not, I don't know, just kind of struggling to find a groove a little bit. I gotta be honest, like so far this match has, has been a good amount of errors, but I, I don't know, he's, he's very good at changing direction, stepping into it and just always kind of sucking up the ball there, like he cutting off the balls over and over again and just Put so much pressure on you to try to come up with some maybe overhitting sometimes to to try to get it away from him a little bit but get a little lucky there by just kind of scraping it out on the back and side but heavy forehands there i feel like he's as i mentioned he's starting to get into into his groove a little bit hitting through that forehand better and better and uh, i do a good job here of, of moving him around a really solid point by me there to get to a game point but once again, that, that deep, heavy return. With a couple of good serves, it sets me up for a great first ball. And uh, yeah, we managed to get a very important hold there to 3-5. Hey guys, sorry to stop you there. But do you want to maybe take your tennis to the next level? I'm proud to announce that I can now offer you online video coaching. If that's of interest to you, you simply go to this link down below or uh, I'll make sure to post it in the description as well. The way it works is very simple. You'll uh, record yourself playing a bit of tennis and then you send that to me. I'll review and go over it together with you and then I'll make sure to come back to you with some very valuable feedback, some tips and tricks that can really help take your tennis to the next level. This is a real win-win project as by purchasing this service, you directly support my tennis journey and I'll make sure to support yours back. Thank you, and let's get back to the video. So we'll see if we can put some pressure on him, but he's serving well here and getting us moving straight away. I feel like we could manage to get out of this. You know, he's not necessarily hitting the ball too far away from me, but I mean, if you leave it two, three times too much in the middle against the player of, of this level, it's, he's gonna figure something out. And uh, yeah, with some errors here, it just goes quick. Great put away volley by him and, and we lose the first set, 6-3. Hard to kick off the second set, I mean, great return by him and just, just immediately just pouncing on us straight away, following up on that great back in return. So under a lot of pressure here straight away, down love 30. And uh, yeah, pretty much a, a 
pretty nice on force from us to, to get a 15-30. Great heavy form, but we managed to, to pass him there with a great backhand. Really important point at 15-30, obviously, to get it to 30 all. And uh, and a great serve there to, to hold the first game. Uh, let's try to put some pressure on him straight away, but I mean, he's just serving well, serving it away from him. I, I feel like he's is very good at kind of like structuring the points around his strength so he would put like out wide serves and then kind of cut off the angles and be very ready for uh for the first ball to just kind of take away time and and cover up the court so i don't know the best way to explain it but against these players the court just feels just feels very small um as i keep mentioning like it's hard to get it away from him really good ball by him so it just kind of like it just kind of feels like he's just sucking in at all the balls. So we get a little lucky there with the net court. I don't know. It's not like I probably would have had that ball uh, if it wasn't for the net court. But pull out a little lefty there. I mean, good pounds here on the first ball. This is how I really want to play against this guy. You know, making a lot of first serves and then just straight away being aggressive uh, on the first ball. Try to get it moving. Yeah, you can kind of see me here just, I don't know, struggling to put weight on my right foot. So I just kind of have to to jump over it. So it gets a little funky there. Uh, I don't know, just all movement is just a little messed up uh, throughout this match. And yeah, I feel like it just messes up the timing a little bit and kind of just sailed that back and out. But great serve there again. Like the little mix up with the drop shot just to kind of keep him guessing. But really good job of getting the serves out wide and then good pancake there to to get the hold so after a good hold here Mirza kind of uh, does two quick unforced and that gives us a great opportunity here at love 30 straight away but kind of messes up that backhand a little bit and then good serve by him to get it back to 30 all straight away so after having a good opportunity here at love 30 just kind of started, I don't know, messing, messing things up. I just remember at the, like during this match, I was never really felt too comfortable on the court. I was just kind of frustrated in a little bit of pain with my, my toe and just obviously him hitting shots like that. It, it's not the combination for success. So just keep trying to be aggressive there. But I just feel like he started to get so comfortable and you know how quickly things turn around. Like even though I was up love 30 a couple minutes ago, now I'm down two break points, but just misses that backhand, um, gives us an opportunity to just keep staying in it. But obviously it's such an important game for a momentum switch. Like I feel like I started to get the momentum a little bit as he maybe went down a level a little bit there in the start of the second set. Um, but I feel like he got it back very quickly and obviously you're just trying to, to get it back again. Like as I keep mentioning, like the momentum goes back and forth so much. And messing up that backhand getting a little frustrated all of a sudden I find myself uh, break points down again but it gets a little while with that backhand mistiming it and uh, save the first one but back to a break point one more time and we just managed to make that forehand just dipped inside the line but once again we're down a break point what I do find really impressive with him though like you see that return for example when I finally had a game point is like you just keep swinging away that for and even though he misses some hits some in the net he's like i just feel like he's very clear on his game plan and obviously that kind of stresses me out to to over hit that back in a little bit and, and now we're really under a lot of pressure here down a set in the break and it doesn't look like he's going to be budging too much and i'm kind of struggling to to find a higher gear so he gets a quick hole there and like I just feel like things are starting to come together for him a little bit, just being aggressive with that backhand, not missing that forehand much. Except for that one. Just trying to get balls away from him, but he does a good job there mixing it up. A little too cheap error by me there on the on the backhand and all of a sudden we have break points against us uh, here to go down a double break. And I just kind of snap over that back and just starting to lose it a little bit, just very frustrated. But so, I mean, 
starting to slip away from us here and obviously as the match point comes forward that good four and then we can't do much we're so weak there in the corner so not much to say about this match i feel like we just got got outclassed to be honest uh, i kind of struggled to get up my level but obviously he he does a very good job of of kind of keeping us down on our level so it is a combination obviously with him playing good tennis and, and us just kind of struggling to to get in it yeah so i mean not much to say about that much i, I simply got kind of outclassed or kind of crushed throughout that match but obviously uh when losing a match i have all my excuses lined up just super injured wind against bad stringing bad hair day no but seriously i mean obviously i maybe had some issues but but as i keep mentioning like when you're playing full-time tennis or as in most other things in, in life you know life ain't all sunshine and rainbows but if i'm gonna stop whining and and move on to some more uh, good news some more fun news um we actually ended up winning the match this is the great thing about team even though i kind of have a i messed up my own uh, i have my team there to to pull me up and, and kind of uh, pick each other up uh, the best way we can so gotta give a huge shout out to jacob amelon and fred simason who came up incredibly clutch uh, they almost gave me a heart attack on the first match point where, where jacob hit a volley over fred uh, they managed to save it and then they came back and managed to win it in a match tie break 12 10 to put us through to the final So obviously we're very pumped about the final i mean we have some very tough opponents we actually played against this team the first match of the league where it finished two all against uh, solna teko the solna teko has actually pulled in a trump card for the finals antoine escoffier he's currently ranked top 200 and a very high level player this is what it comes down to you know the final of the swedish tennis league uh we're pumped to be here but we still got a lot of job left to do so thanks a lot for watching and i'll make sure to catch you in the next one where hopefully i have some golden news for you guys all the best and i'll see you soon